A book of which I'm particularly proud uh, is Copyright's Highway that was first published in 1994 and I have just finished working on the, uh, the second uh, edition which will be published in uh, spring of, of 2019. The spark for it came in uh, probably the late 1980s. I found myself not only in my teaching and writing but in my uh, practice, my law practice, counseling clients, dealing with issues at the intersection of computer software and digital communications. It was clear to me by the late 1980s and certainly into the 1990s that the future of the distribution of creative content was going to change radically and that Inevitably, this had to have an impact on copyright, and copyright had to have an impact on this, this development. I decided that the best way to chart the future course of copyright in this new world was by going back to the beginnings, uh, to effectively to the early 18th century in England uh, with the first Copyright Act, the Statute of Anne. And I will confess to you, I don't know when I've had more, more fun. The history of copyright can be traced through the law's encounters with new technology. You know, going back to photography, uh, motion pictures, radio, cable TV, going back into the early history of copyright, tracing uh, the development of the law through the personalities who got enmeshed uh, in it. And that carried me to uh, the future of what I call in the book, as part of the title of the book, uh, the subtitle is From Gutenberg to the Celestial Jukebox. It carries me to the Celestial Jukebox, which I was writing about back then in the early 1990s, uh, which you now know today as iTunes, as Netflix, uh, as Amazon, uh, any one of the on-demand uh, delivery services. I decided uh, last year in uh, late 2017 to do a new edition of the book. It had been 15 years since the last edition had come out. And in those 15 years, uh, between 2003, 2018, the technology impinging on copyright had changed more dramatically than at any time in the past, any period in the past, starting with 1710. And here was the next step, and that step was a giant step as we move from Web 1.0, which was in place uh, at the time of the revised edition, to Web 2.0 that we're living with today, of intense interactive, interactivity uh, between the users, the consumers of information, and the providers, as users themselves became producers of information. The, one of the great revolutions of the internet that copyright can account for uh, as a superb mechanism for ordering markets is the increased prominence of authors in the marketing as well as the creation of their work.